I have been getting comments for years from Samsung users who have told me that one of the biggest reasons that they have not left Samsung and bought a Google Pixel smartphone is because they can't do without Samsung DeX. It is one of these features that if it is meaningful to you, if you are used to using it and it's part of your workflow, it is extremely hard to go without the ability to plug your phone into an external monitor and have a desktop interface appear right there on the screen to continue your workflow to start it on your phone on that larger screen. And in a user interface that is really quite well crafted is a feature that I and a lot of others have wanted to see on Pixel phones for a very long time. And at long last, that is finally happening with Android 16. QPR1 beta number two, that has officially rolled out. And while it is not a finished product just yet, it's in a beta for a reason. It is a massive step forward and a massive step towards Pixel users no longer needing to be jealous of their Samsung Galaxy phone using Brethren. Now, that being said, when you are a gigantic nerd like me, you may see that desktop mode and think that's really, really cool. But I want things to go one step further. Something that I have long wanted to see is the ability to take a desktop mode like that with that little taskbar and the floating windows, all of the things that come in tow with that, running directly on the large inner screen on one of these folding devices like my Pixel 9 Pro Fold. That is what I would love to see. Maybe this goes back to my younger days uh, loving you know netbooks and very small computers, things like the Sony Vio P. Like I love the idea of taking a piece of hardware and then asking it to do something that it really shouldn't be doing just to see how well it can do it. I would love to have one of these desktop modes running directly on the inner folding screen of a Z Fold, a Pixel 9 Pro Fold, etc., etc. But unfortunately, according to an article on Ars Technica, which I pulled a quote out of right here on the screen, that is not going to be happening. Google tells Ars that despite the added screen real estate, foldables like the Pixel 9 Pro Fold won't have on-device windowing like tablets. Phones and foldables will only have the connected display option for the desktop interface. This is a little bit of an aside, but I'll read it as well. Additionally, it will be up to OEMs to support this feature. Google's phones will support windowing, but some devices that ship with Android 16 will only have the standard display mirroring option for external screens. So that desktop mode is only going to be available when you plug your Pixel 9 Pro Fold into that external display. You're going to have it on your Pixel tablet. You're going to have it potentially on other tablet devices, but not on foldable devices. Google does not think that that inner screen is large enough for that to make sense. And if I'm being honest, while these foldable screens are definitely larger than your normal phone, they probably really aren't large enough to make proper use of a full desktop UI. But there are a couple of things that Google absolutely needs to implement to make this sort of productivity thing work better on these foldable devices, in particular on their Pixel devices, because right now all you can do is have two windows side by side. So the first thing we're going to talk about is something that was initially reported by Android Authority, and it's the idea of being able to bubble anything. As you can see in this screenshot taken from Android Authority, they have long pressed on the Firefox icon. And right here in this corner, this icon right here, is meant to take Firefox and then open it, but put it into this bubble form. You may be familiar with this. Maybe you've seen it in Facebook Messenger or in the Google Messages app where you can have a message ongoing that exists in this little floating bubble that you can drag around on your screen, place it wherever you want, and at any moment you can touch that bubble and it's going to open up that message in this little floating window, respond, and then you can minimize it back down to the bubble. So the concept here is, you should be able to bubble any application. It seems as though this might be Google's approach for floating windows, and we absolutely have to have something, some kind of floating window 
on the Pixel Fold as quickly as humanly possible. It is probably the biggest feature that I miss when I take my SIM out of a Z Fold or an Oppo or a OnePlus device and I move to a Pixel Fold style device. I miss that floating window option pretty badly. Now later reporting actually took this a step further and I think that this is actually where this could begin to be a lot more useful. You can see this same kind of thing happening now, but on a tablet style device. Again, credit to Android Authority. The difference here is that on this larger screen, Google is experimenting with something called the bubble bar. Down here in this bottom right hand corner, you can see multiple different bubbles existing there. So you have your main app there on the screen and this little bar in the corner that you can swipe up on and it shows you the bubbles you have active which would be basically multiple floating windows. You tap it and it expands. You do what you need to do and then it goes back down into the bar. Now for me, in order for this to truly be a floating windows replacement, you need to be able to move it around. I see the three dots right here. I'm hoping what that indicates is you can tap that and drag this window wherever you want it, and then it will return back down to the bubble bar. If that's the case, then I think this would be a pretty good way to do floating windows on these foldable devices. And again, we need it like yesterday. Now, fortunately, it does appear as though Google is making some progress at finding even more ways to make better use of these larger screens. And it looks like they might literally just be straight up copying a feature that comes from a OnePlus device or an Oppo device. Maybe it's called Open Canvas. Maybe it's called Boundless View, whatever you want to call it. I like it a lot. And we've actually already seen it kind of roll out in the One UI beta on Samsung devices. So like I already mentioned, on these Pixel devices, the split screen multitasking does work really well, but it's restricted to only two applications. Now on other devices from Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo, you can have a third app, but it's the way that Oppo slash OnePlus does this that it appears as though Google might be ready to copy. If we slide my Oppo Find N5 onto the screen and we open up our little app drawer here, let's go ahead and grab another app We'll just grab threads and we drag it onto the screen. You can have the, that third application open. But as you can see here, it slides into place with the far left app sliding off the screen. And you can simply tap what little bit of that app you can see to slide it back onto the screen. So basically you have applications going off the screen. Now they may be calling this a 90-10 split, something like that, but it works really, really well. And then on this Oppo Find N5, you can take this a step or two further by expanding an application. Now you have this full screen app here and then two split screen apps here. Let's go ahead and expand Discord. Now you have this look, which is a little bit strange, but again, it could be potentially quite useful. And then here we can expand YouTube as well. And now you have three full screen applications, which can be rapidly jumped between just like that. It is a really novel, unique, and effective way to do multitasking. And again, it appears as though we are headed that way, and we've seen some hints of this already happening in One UI 8. So right now what you're seeing is my Galaxy S25 Ultra's screen, and I have two applications opened up in split screen. But if I grab this little divider and I drag it down until the color starts to change and I let it go, what you have is this new 90-10 split that, like I said, Google is working on. And like happens relatively often with Google and Samsung, Samsung is basically testing and rolling this feature out first in this beta. If I click on this tiny little 10% of an app that's visible, it's going to slide up and show me the entire application. And if I go back up here and click on threads, it's going to slide down and do the same thing. This is exactly the same way that this works on the Oppo Find N5 or OnePlus Open, whatever it is you want to call those, those particular devices. If Google gives us this on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, the Pixel 10 Pro Fold, that would be a big, big benefit to multitasking. And not just because you could potentially have two applications that are basically full screen that you could quickly jump back and forth between, but hopefully because they give us that third application option. Now that is a little bit more rumory than anything. We've seen some hints that that could be happening, but man, if they do that, it could be a game changer. So guys, there you go. Even though Google isn't going to do the uber nerdy thing and give us a full desktop interface usable on our Pixel Fold devices, 
It does appear like they are working on some other options that probably do make a lot more sense, and they could be coming relatively soon. That bubble bar, all of that stuff does seem like it's working pretty well in the betas if you know how to get in there and turn these things on, like Android Authorities, Michelle Roman. And then, of course, the 90-10 split is functioning quite well on the S25 Ultra, so maybe this stuff could come pretty soon. I would definitely love to see it. But again, let me know what your thoughts are in those comments down below. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.